things took a turn for the worse for Dan in last night's Emmerdale after his benefits claim was rejected months after sustaining a life-changing injury. Dan! Uh, Is he choking? Oh, it's an allergic reaction. I'll call the ambulance. Patient's also had a suspected fall with resulting potential back injury. Did you realise what you've done to me? I've got a physio for months and I never walk again. was starving. Skin. And it's not like you can do anything about it. I'm gonna look after you. I'll find a way through this. Hello? Uh, can I speak to somebody about my benefits claim, please? So where does that leave me? And Liam Fox, who plays Dan, joins us now. Oh, goodness, Liam. Poor Dan, he's struggling, isn't he? He's had a tough time this year, yeah. I mean, this all started off long before lockdown so from february right through to now he's, he's been on a hell of a journey really yeah it's been tough for him and especially for his daughter uh, amelia really yeah well it sort of looks like things are just going from bad to worse from last night's episode certainly and then of course tonight we kind of see kane having a chat with him and saying look it's just not going to work that you come back to work either it's just not getting any better yeah, he's, I think the thing is, he's desperate. Um, and one of the things with Dan is, I think a few fans have kind of said, you know, there's benefits out there. Why isn't he getting these benefits? Well, I think the thing with Dan is, he's not asking the questions to get those benefits. And I think there's thousands of people who may be in that situation, and that's kind of the crux of the story. Is probably suffering more than he needs to, and that's through his own for his own pride, really. Yeah, and, and just being able to ask for help, and like you say, I'm sure that probably resonates with an awful lot of the audience right now. Yeah, absolutely. You know, there's enough going on with, with, the, uh, with the lockdown and the virus, uh, let alone having something like this going on. I'm sure there's plenty of people going through what Dan's going through as well. So, you know, just uh, let's hope people can get through it. Yeah, and also sort of touching on the child carer perspective, because as you say, Amelia, uh, no. his daughter, is just really struggling with it all. Yeah, you know, as, as much as anything, this is kind of Amelia's story, really. For Daisy, it's been amazing. Um, when we first started doing this, we had a chat with the Josie Framtree Foundation and we met with parents and children who were in this situation. It was, it was incredible to see what some of these kids were going through. Um, you know, they might be 14, 15 years old and they're more like 30-year-old adults. Um, they had to grow up so quick. Um, and I think Daisy's been fantastic. She's just been... She's really cut the gas, really. She's been amazing and she's really lent truth to it. Yeah, she's been brilliant. And of course, next week we see things get really bad. Yeah, um, Dan, Dan's going to work and Amelia's getting uh, worried about him uh, and wanting to help him out a little bit. And Dan doesn't want, want it there, obviously, but uh, eventually he agrees and it all goes sadly wrong. Mm -hmm. And I know you can't tell us any more than that, but that'll be Monday and Tuesday um, next week. Does it feel like you've been at Emmerdale for a decade now? Um, no, it, it doesn't. You know, it's, it goes so quick. It's absolutely insane. Oh, no, there I am. Look at that. Um, and it was just great. From the first... Do you know what? I wouldn't be here still now if it wasn't for the likes of that family when I first started the show. Kelly Ellis, Alicia Rial, Luke Roscoe. I was made to feel so welcome on that first day that uh, it, they made it dead easy for me. Uh, and I'm still there now 10 years later. And it's down to them, them guys, really. Um, if it wasn't made so welcome, uh, it'd just be a different ball game. Yeah, of course. And your mum's still a big fan, obviously. Number one fan, in fact. Number one? <laughs> well, I don't know about that. Uh, <laughs> she's there. Uh, yeah, I, I think she is. Yeah, she's one of those like northern mothers, you know. Oh, it's nice, that. Oh, yeah, great. Oh, you're doing well, aren't you? She probably tells everyone else she's proud of me, but not me. But, you know. That's all right. <laughs> you know, you know. So you um, spent yeah. lockdown as newlyweds. Yeah, got married on the 16th of Feb, went back to work for a bit and then uh, had a honeymoon in Cuba and then came back on the last uh, Virgin flight from Havana. Um, so we were very nearly stuck in Havana for the whole of lockdown, so uh, that could have been different. Um, but yeah, it's been great. Um, you know, I've obviously married the right woman because it's just been uh, perfect. Really. 
I have to say, Liam, this is one of the best exits from a wedding I've ever seen. I love the fact that you've got your two dogs with you, who are the centre of your worlds right now as well. I mean, you're hoping to maybe feature them a bit more in your Instagram uh, posts as well, coming up, I believe. Yeah, we'll do so. We did a few uh, little TikToks during lockdown, and uh, no doubt there'll be some more coming up uh, over Christmas. Uh, Jojo's busy working at the minute, so uh, it's, it's me on most days if not filming. But no doubt we'll come up with something. We'll have to think what, yeah? We'll have to, have to get right and get some ideas together. Yeah, they're right characters, though. You can tell already. Uh, they're unbelievable, you know. It's like because uh, one of them's like a Staffy Cross. You go for walks. It's always people more wary of Staffy Cross, you know. They're thinking, oh, is it a bit dodgy? But it's the, it's the other one. It's the cute lasso who's the trouble. He's the one who'll bark and go for other dogs. I can imagine. Staffy's great. <laughs> Well, Liam, last time you were on, you were talking to Lorraine about uh, your doppelganger. And it's this mm. guy in Finland who is very, very like you. And I know he and his wife got in touch with you and Joanna. And they recreated yeah. this picture. And to be fair, I, I, you know, it's very similar. It is. But funny enough, I, I am that guy from Finland. Liam's upstairs. He's in bed. He couldn't bother getting up. <laughs> so I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> It's very good, that, though. I'm sure you probably get that quite a bit from people, do you? Oh, yeah. It's, it, it, it's crazy. It started off with Phil from Bake Off. He was, everyone was saying he was my double last year. And he made the cake for the wedding as well and came for the wedding. <laughs> and then after Phil, we had the guy from Finland. So uh, I think my dad was quite busy in the uh, early Internationally. <laughs> Leo, thanks so much for talking to us. Looking forward to see what happens with Dan. And Emmerdale continues tonight at 7 p.m. and 8 p.m. on ITV. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.